slavery is a full of painful history. But the commemoration for this year, in 2009, is not about lamenting what happened over centuries. It's more about victory over adversity, the great struggle of humankind over something that was so terrible, so unjust. Slavery didn't only affect those who were bought and sold, it also affected those who bought and sold human beings like common goods. In this commemoration, what we are trying to do is to show that white people and black people and slaves themselves fought against this injustice. By having this celebration, we are giving a unique opportunity to all to share in an evening a reappropriation of that history and the celebration of that struggle. This struggle will not end until and unless we are all sure that this is not going to be repeated again. This is why member states in the United Nations are so energized, are so happy with this event taking place, and we are so grateful that Culture Project can do this with us. The Culture Project is an arts organization that focuses on human rights, social justice, and tries to use the resources of culture to transform some of the ailments that we have in our civilization. The Culture Project has been interested in the activities of the peace efforts at the United Nations ever since we began. It's a, it's a logical partnership because we feel that we can add a cultural component to the diplomatic efforts that the UN employs. All the 192 member states of the United Nations have decided that the entire world should commemorate this. We should all be beating the drum and in so doing, breaking the silence of slavery. Wherever you had a black man or a black woman, you had the drum. And just like Bob Marley said, no woman, no cry, no drum, no black man. Music transcends language. It transcends conflict. It's a powerful medium of joy. And also, it can express profound emotion. You can hear a sound, and you can instantly respond, and it opens your heart. And once your heart is open, then the possibility of solutions for challenging issues and problems become more accessible. We have this very unique celebration. We have music, we have drumming, we have exhibits, we have panel discussions, but most importantly, the key of this event will be the concert on the 25th March. And it rarely happens at the UN that we do such a thing in such a way. This event will have such a magnitude because we want this to actually have an impact on future generations. The idea is to have this concert be available worldwide to young people, to people that don't have traditional access to such events. This is a concert of the people and by the people and for the people. We must do this event now because the world is changing and yet there is always a risk that some of the past ills could resurface. Just as much as it is important to continue to beat the drum on the question of anti-Semitism, on the Holocaust, so that young people know that this kind of terrible crime should never ever be repeated, the same applies to slavery. Slavery is not only a problem, it's also a symptom. It means that some people's lives are perceived as having less value than others and it's our fight and privilege to represent those whose voices are less heard. So whether they were less heard 400 years ago or less heard today, it's somewhat irrelevant. There are plenty of people today whose voices are not given as much respect as other people who have been born into privilege. Slavery in its past history that hasn't been grasped by significant portions of the world will become more aware of perhaps some of the greatest crimes against humanity and today it's taking on a different form and it it takes on the form of people that are being exploited in the mines of the congo and it's taken on the form of sex trafficking and it's taken on the form of people that become indentured servants to debt these are the principal battles that the culture project wants to use its resources artistic and imaginative to address now today, as the world is changing, as we are entering into this global village, and as we are 
more and more as one, it is important that the future generations know that people in the past were ill-treated, but that so many people fought against that and that that victory is a celebration that is a good lesson for the future.